Hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens. Here we are for another Namiki Emperor review. And today's review will be the Namiki Emperor Chinkin Tiger by Yasuji 2017 model. So this is one of the current stock of Namiki Emperors. They've just released a new Chinkin Dragon by the same artist. This is the tiger that's been around a few years longer and here it is. So this is a flat cap barrel Namiki Emperor, it means the top and the bottom of the pen are both flat. It's slightly longer, maybe half a centimeter longer than the rounded barrel ones. There's no clip on this. It's an ebonite pen with a valve to adjust the ink flow on and off and an 18 karat gold nib, which is two tone, which we'll take a look at in a bit. So here's the pen. This is a Chinkin pen. Chinkin is the design carved into the Urushi lacquer, a layer of Urushi is put on top of it, and then gold powder or gold foil is placed on top of it. Then they polish off the gold that isn't directly over the gaps, and it leaves this pattern of gold on the pen, and then clear Urushi is put over the top of it. So as you can see here, it is a breathtakingly beautiful tiger descending down a steep slope and at the bottom is some plants, some bamboo and some more of the slope. So here's the tiger. It is astonishingly good. It is comprised almost entirely of dots. So there's a few lines that you can see on the whiskers, but the vast, vast majority of this form is actually dots other than the outlines of the shapes. Um, some chinkin uses a lot of lines, um, like we did a review of the hawk recently. That's called Senbori. This is Denbori, which is dots. So the tiger is created out of dots, and then black negative space forms the stripes, which are just exceptional. And then around the back are the leaves, and we look down at the bottom here. We have some more of the bamboo leaves, and then the down slope, and there's the artist's signature carved into the pen, and like the Makia where it's painted into the pen. So let's just remove the top here. This is the standard size 52 tone Namiki Emperor nib that comes with all the Makie Emperors and the Chinkin Emperor pens. And down at the bottom here, this is where the valve is, you can barely see it. So this is a size 50 Namiki nib. It is 18 karat gold, a smooth writing experience, a wet flow, the valve switches the access of the ink to the section on or off. So if you have the valve switched off, the feed will eventually run out of ink. And the pen has a massive capacity as an eyedropper. It's several millimeters. It lasts a very long time. The pen is an absolute pleasure to write with. I do have a video looking in detail at writing with three different Namiki size 50s. So here's the thumbnail for that video. It's called the Miki Emperor Fountain Pen Writing Sample and Review. So have a look at that if you want to see how these pens write. So now let's have a look at this pen. Well, there's basically a couple of elements going on. You have the tiger on the cap, which is the main focal point of the pen up here. And you have this uh, fantastic nib here. And then on the section of the pen, you have the bamboo and the scenery, the downward slope that the tiger seems to be walking down. So the standout parts for me here are the tiger. It's the whiskers are fantastic. Those claws, the indents of the shape of the paws, they are done incredibly well. And for me, this causes something of a, of a bit of a disparity on this pen because the tiger is so good that it's a little bit hard for the rest of the pen to live up to that quality. And so for me, this pen very much is about that detail on the cap, um, all the way up, even all the way up to the tail, the, the detail quality and the shading of the tiger is amazing to behold. And here at the bottom of the pen, we have the leaves and the slope, which they're very nicely done, but for me, they don't carry quite the weight of attention that the tiger itself carries. So in terms of the focus of the design, it's, it's top heavy. Now we talked about the chink and hawk. The hawk was at the top, that's the main point, but they do have a little bit of raiden on the bottom of the pen, which for me bounces it out. Um, this pen, I think that effect is exaggerated a little because there's a lot of black on this pen. We look at it from this angle and 
most of the pen is covered, but you turn it around to the other side of the pen and there's a lot of black space in this pen, which does serve to emphasize it. And you know what, that tiger absolutely stands emphasizing. It is a fabulous piece of work. Now, the same artist also created the new dragon model, as we said earlier, which fills the whole pen. Um, the peony flower is another emperor model and also the Yukari Real size rooster and the cat pens and they're both also really exquisite bits of chinkin. I have a particular fondness for the tiger. I have had a quite a close encounter in real life with a wild tiger um, a few years ago and they are extremely impressive animals to behold and I think this captures the elegance and the power. I mean You've got something here where you can almost see the muscles rippling underneath the fur and it's been captured by chiseling dots into a lacquer surface. I mean that's almost mind-blowing in terms of how difficult that is to get in a way that looks so real. So I'd like to conclude by just looking side by side at these three pens. The chinkin on the left here that we have highlighted, it has the hawk at the top all that detail, just as good as the tiger in its own right. At the bottom it has the branch, but it has also that little bit of radiant, that little bit of colour at the bottom, which for me gives it that bit of balance. And in the middle is the chinkin matsu, which is the chinkin pine. That also has its balance because the top and the bottom are of about equal weight in terms of importance, in terms of the focal point. It's slightly favours the top because you have a larger branch there with a little bit more technical detail on the woodwork but it's more or less even in terms of the top and the bottom and then we have the tiger where it's even in terms of the amount of work but the focus is certainly the top so for me it's got a tiny bit less balance but that's only because the tiger itself is so eye-catching anyway those are my thoughts on what is another really fabulous Namiki Emperor pen if you'd like the channel, please like and subscribe. There'll be many more of these coming, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much, and goodbye.